What is up, all you rocking red resellers? It's flipping stoop. I hope you guys are rocking this day out, getting everything done. It's the most important thing, getting your day done. But I've been thinking a lot about about earlier's video and 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 where I've been in my thought process throughout throughout reselling, right? And I think that's very important, your thought process, because people will people will show you and tell you how they got to six figures a year, or how they got to seven figures a year. But we we resellers we want to know our thought process, where where we've been at, right? Like, uh, what's up, Kevin? Thanks for watching, bro. I give you an example. Like in the beginning, I doubted ten ten. $10,000 a month was possible, right? I doubted that very highly for myself. I didn't believe in it. But the truth is, is we all have what it, we, we all right now at this very moment, I don't care if you're at day one, I don't care if you're at day 10,000 in one, right? It doesn't matter. We all right now have exactly what it has to be the best reseller or be the best person we can actually be. Y'all have, we all have what it takes right now. I don't care if it's Kevin Watson. He's got what it takes to be the, he's a tattoo artist. He's my, uh, son-in-law, great guy, he has what it takes, he's a tattoo artist, as I just said, he has what it takes to be the best tattoo artist in the world, right, and he probably didn't believe that six years ago, I tattooed as well, I didn't believe that I could be a good tattoo artist 12 years ago, the first time I ever ordered a tattoo machine, right, I didn't believe that, I didn't believe I could be a good reseller my first two years in, right, but we all Every, regardless where you're at in life right now, regardless what's going on in your life right now, we have exactly what it takes to get us as far as we want to get to in life, right? To get us as far as we want to get to in reselling or whatever your journey is, this, this channel is about reselling. You have exactly what it takes. What I, what I found myself doing is seeking the approval through other YouTubers. Here, here's what I used to do a lot. I'm guilty of this hands down guilty of this and I'm sure other resellers are as well. We're guilty of watching other resellers seeing if they have qualities that we have to see if we can do what they're doing. That's exactly what I did the whole entire year before I listed my first item. I watched Rally Roots. I watched a few other people too, but I watched her channel to see if any of their characteristics, if I had some of those things similar within me. To see if I could accomplish what they get, what they're accomplishing. What I found out over the course of X amount of years I've been doing this, right? What I found out is we all have what it takes. Everybody, every reseller has what it takes to get to whatever number you 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 get to. It don't matter if you're the quiet reseller. It don't matter if you're like me and you can't shut your fucking mouth. It don't matter what qualities you have. And yeah, there is there is a couple qualities that matter. What you're willing to put into it and the drive you have every day to do it, right? Your consistency and the drive you have to go at it day in and day out, regardless of the results. Regard, fuck the results. Don't even think about the fucking results, right? Regardless of the results, you going at it day in and day out will get you to where you want to get to, right? But we all doubt ourselves. Like this... This is, this I know is facts in life. I'm not saying there aren't people out there that don't believe in their abilities a little bit. But most people don't believe in their abilities to their full potential. Me included, right? Me included. I don't believe, I've had people in the YouTube channel tell me, thanks a lot, you're helping me out. I had people in the face group say, thanks a lot, you're helping me out. I still wonder in the back of my head, is the video content I'm making having any impact on anybody? I still worry about that every single video I make. This video. Before I said this, this thought process was just going through my head as I was listing items, right? I'm like, does anybody really need to hear this? If it comes to my mind, I'm not saying my mind's gold or your mind's gold, but if it comes to your mind, it's came to somebody else's mind as well, right? And what I'm trying to, what, what I'm really trying to boil down to is we all have the greatness we're looking in other people within yourself. There's only a couple qualities you got to have on eBay. Few. Be consistent. The, the knowledge eventually to find out whatever niche you want to get into or if you're going to be a sell everything on what you're selling. Figure that stuff out. Consistency. Discipline. Discipline. And drive. And focus. That's four things. Okay, I said I just said four things. 
But if you have them, all the other qualities don't fucking matter, man. It don't matter if you're a quiet hermit and never come out of your house. You could be a millionaire that just never comes out of your fucking house, right? There's plenty of people out there that are very that are very well off that we never even heard about. That's why, because they don't they don't need the world to know about it. They did it for them, right? <laughs> so where I'm trying to wrap this video around is you watching this, me making this, we all have what it takes to get to our goals. There's not a single one of us. Just the majority of us don't believe in ourselves enough to get there. Regardless of whatever reasoning that was, whether it was your upbringing, whether it was the schools, whatever. There's a bunch of analogies of why people are so, uh, they don't believe in themselves a lot. People, but about 90% of the population works for somebody else. If you believed in your, listen, I'm going to say this the nicest way I can. If you believed in yourself, you wouldn't believe that the amount of work you're putting in, wherever you're putting in, is what you deserve, right? If you believe, if if people believe that the opportunities that are out there, right, uh, are out there to be able to be made, right? If if you see one millionaire in the United States, then anybody, then then any anybody else can become a millionaire. We just don't want to go through the loopholes, right? Or we don't believe in ourselves. There's a lot of millionaires out there, right? There's a lot more people in poverty. This is where I'm getting, this is where I'm I'm voicing my perspective off of. Because if everybody in the United States, for we'll say, believed in themselves, poverty wouldn't exist. <laughs> There's plenty enough money out there for us all to have part of the pie. You know, poverty would not exist if we all believed in ourselves. And when it comes to reselling, if you believed in where you're going to be at in five years, you'd put the work in there. You'd put the work to get there. If you're kind of like, well, I don't know. The results I got the past five years haven't been the greatest. Yo, what's up, Vic? If if the results you put in the past five years ain't been the greatest, ask yourself why it hasn't been the greatest. Have you been ha, have you been all of yourself? Have you have you have you gave what you're doing everything you possibly can? And if most of us are being honest, if I'm being honest, I have not gave eBay everything I can. I no way, dude. No way. If I gave eBay the energy I gave, uh, I entertained with my drug use and alcohol use. I would already be doing seven figures a year. I, from the moment I woke up when I was a drug addict and alcoholic, from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed, I was looking for my next fix. If from the moment you woke up to the moment you went to bed, you was doing eBay, you'd already be at seven figures in sales. There ain't no doubt. If you did that for five years, you'd definitely be at seven figures in sales in a year for sure. But we don't believe it can happen. At least me. This is me. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't believe uh, uh, a certain amount of success on eBay was possible for me. I thought, okay, this is just one YouTuber that made this video. It's a gimmick, right? They they just made it, or it's false advertising. It's not real. It is real. The, the the amount of success you can have on eBay is unlimited. The only thing that limits our success is what we're willing to do, right? The only thing that limits our, our success on how many sales we get a day is how much hours a day we're willing to give eBay, right? Or how, 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 how much we're willing to learn. Are you, are you willing to train somebody to do your work for you while you're out finding more inventory? Or while, you, you know what I'm saying, learn it. Like, look, I haven't let that go yet. I haven't hired nobody yet. I haven't hired anybody yet. So I'm limiting myself to the amount of money I could be making because I'm not, I, I haven't took somebody on and trained somebody yet, right? To do what I'm doing. Because in order to do that, you got to go back down to pretty much broke. eBay's equal opportunity for sex. That's absolutely. Vic said it 1000%. Victor is in the Facebook group. He says eBay is equal opportunity for success. That is probably the truest statement that I've, I've yet heard on about eBay. You want to tell that people you'll you'll walk into your employment and it says equal opportunity for employment. Ninety percent of them are bullshit. They just post that there, uh, <laughs> so they don't get in trouble, right? It's not it's not equal opportunity of employment. It's equal opportunity for fucking modern day slavery, in my opinion. eBay, it don't matter what fucking, it don't matter what color you are. It don't matter if you're butt naked. It don't matter when you do it. It don't matter. It does matter how often you do it, or no, actually, if, if you worked really hard for three or four days straight, right, and you took like thousands of photos, or how many ever you list a day, 
and then uh, you know you had enough to be able to upload X amount of items. You could you could turn eBay into a two day a week job, but still be uploading items seven days a week if you're putting them in your draft bank. Which I actually encourage that. I just started doing that. I just started doing just two. This isn't something. This is something you hear Chris from Daily Refinement and all them guys talking about. How important it is to keep items in there because let's face it, we all have a life and some shit's going to come up or you're not going to be there, right? So if you have items in your draft bank, hello, that is money in the bank, right? You just release them on the days that you're too busy to do eBay. So I have started doing that only about, uh, only about a week ago and I've only been doing two a day, right? So I'm actually doing two extra items a day and I'm putting in my draft bank. So I'm trying to be able to get myself to work my weekends up, weekends off or the two days my fiance have off, off. So yeah, I love what Vic said about the equal opportunity for success because it is. Look, let's face it. If I go in and apply at this roofing job, right? I'll, I'll use roofing because I did a whole lot of roofing. A lot, many, many years of bent over roofing. If I apply at this job and I bust my ass and I do that for five years, it's not guaranteed that I'm gonna I, I'm gonna be the manager of that company. If you go to Amazon and bust your ass, it is not it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get the top fucking pay in there. The only way that happens is if you like you get into the union, you get into the union and you work your way up, you know, whatever, however that works, right? Um so yeah, eBay is an equal opportunity. I just want to make a short video because I'm on a tight time slot. I got to get quite a few items up still. Um, I, I was over at my buddy's with the Jeep earlier today for longer than I expected. Um, so I got to get my items up. But I want—I just want to get people get a grasp of everything that you need, you have right now. Right? You you have what it takes. If you want to make six figures a year, you want to make $30,000 extra dollars a year, you want to make 60, you want, whatever your number is, that don't matter, right? You want to make $1,000 extra a year, right? Whatever it is, you have what it takes to do that. You no, know, everybody does. If you want to do seven figures a year, you have what it takes to do that. Because if, if people like Daily Refinement has done it, Tech and Sports has done it, and there's other people in the reselling industry that's done seven figures, plenty of other people, they're no different than me, me or you. They're the same people. They just took, remember earlier I said most, a lot of people don't take their eBay journey serious. I didn't take my eBay journey serious for the first couple of years. I was just fucking around and tinking around with it. That's basically what I was doing, getting sales. And I was still getting consistent sales, right? So if you can get seriously focused, you can get to wherever you want to get to. That, that's inevitable. Like you, you can do that. Now, is it, would it help if you had a couple extra people helping you? Hell yeah. Like, I, I've said this to my fiance before. I said, babe, she's got five children. I said, all five kids and me and you zero down and did this. Like, maybe two of them were out sourcing while one of them was packaging items and four of us was listing. We could do seven figures a fucking year in our sleep with that many people working, right? Everybody could quit their jobs. I've said that numerous times. But to get everybody on board and to believe that's actually possible, you got to build it yourself there first, right? Because nobody's going to walk off their job that's getting paid a, a, a set salary of seven, eight hundred dollars a freaking week to maybe get to seven figures in sales and split that at the end of the year, right? <laughs> nobody's just going to do that. As a matter of fact, people can't do that because they have bills too. But I see that, like, if, if everybody in our family could do that. Everybody could, everybody could be very well off within a year or so. But that's hard to convince people into do, doing that, right? You have to have a really good system set up to get somebody on board with that. And uh, I did try that with my fiance in the beginning. And when I work, I don't like distractions. And it was my fault because I admit this. It was my fault because she was asked questions while I'm trying to list items. And that irritated me. So it was tough for her to work with me, right? When I should have just had my items already done and then dealt with her questions one-on-one -on -one instead of me trying to list when she's trying to learn. Here, here, here's a good, good, good tip for you. If you're trying to work with a significant other or a friend or somebody and they're learning, but you already know kind of what's going on and you're listing your items and they're asking you questions, make sure you're taking all the time. Make sure your, your, your stuff for the day is already done and then go and help them. Don't try to help them as you're listing. 
That, that won't work, man. It, it caused a lot of irritation. There was uh, miscommunication between the two of us, and she just kind of gave up doing it. And I don't blame her, right? I don't blame her because I wasn't being the nicest person. Wow. I, when I work, I can't be. I can't be distracted, right? If I'm distracted, I'll get irritated. I, I get irritated, so it didn't work. So, anyways, everybody has what it takes. Keep rocking it out, guys. Keep getting your items up, and um. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Share the content if you would. It is helping the YouTube channel grow. The YouTube channel is growing very slowly. But eBay, uh, YouTube has an algorithm uh, a lot like eBay, right? If you consistently listed a video of you drinking coffee in the morning, I'm going to give you a prime example. You grab your coffee cup. You talk about your coffee for the first five minutes of your morning, every morning. And you do that for 365 days straight every day and you pick a new topic, and you talk about it as you're drinking your coffee, you will get viewers. If you take that same content, right, you'll start getting subscribers. If you take that same content, make one video, and never make another one again, you're never going to get subscribers. It's a lot like eBay. You list one item, and that's it. You're done, and you never list another item. You're not going to get, you're, you might not even sell that item, right? So YouTube, I've learned, is a lot like eBay with consistency. If you consistently upload videos, you consistently get more viewers. But it is a slow process. Remember earlier I talked about the importance of not focusing on the results? It's the same thing with YouTube. Like you can't focus on your, you just gotta keep making a video and uploading it to YouTube every single day. And don't take this from me that don't have a lot of subscribers. I'm, I'm hearing this from the, the people that started with the same amount of subscribers as I have now, and eight years later, they got millions of subscribers because they kept going and they kept learning what worked. You learn what works in your titles. You learn what works in your titles on eBay. Certain titles will grab the audience to your item uh, easier than if your title's all over the place. So I had one video that the, the, the best video I did a couple weeks ago or whatever, um, the title was worded correctly and it draws a lot of clicks on the video um so it, it, a lot plays into youtube like it does ebay and the reason i say that is because i listened to chris from daily refinement say the same thing it was probably over uh, a year ago he was talking about youtube he was like the funny thing about the funny thing about ebay and youtube is they both have a very similar algorithm right if you upload videos daily you'll get more viewers you know, daily, slowly, it's like a slow build. If you keep uploading five uh, items a day on eBay, that will grab you. You might, only, you might start out with no sales, then two, three days in, you'll get a sale. And then if you keep listing those five items, before you know it, you'll be selling five items a day, right? But this isn't something that you can just keep watching because it's not going to move fast enough. It might take you a month. It might take you two months. It might take you three months to hit that five sales a day right? But it will happen. And it, it, a lot is the same on YouTube. So please share the content, guys. It does help or like it or make a comment. Drop a comment below. Tell me what you think. It's your boy Flip Soup. Love you all. You guys have a rock and rad day.